Just packed a lunch. Our guide's ready. We're gonna pack the boat, go fishing. I think we're fishing a different part of the river today. Hopefully we catch some big ones. If not, just being here alone is crazy. Just the atmosphere, the people that live here. Definitely a trip of a lifetime. Rock ends up taking us to some back cove off the main river and it's about a foot of water. It's completely mud, maybe, maybe an inch visibility. And there's these fish there called Traida. Uh, they almost look like a freshwater sucker we have here in Canada, but way meaner looking, huge teeth. Oh, I got one. Cowfish. keeping about three of them we run 20 minutes up river to a steep sand bank and it was about 40 feet deep and there's catfish there Me and Chad haven't ate all morning and we're starving, so Rock cut us up some fish and we ate some raw traida. No, I'm just joking. We end up using it for bait. Basically any meat that you throw on the bottom, eventually a catfish will come by and, and pick it up. It's just a matter of time. There it is. Putting that on a hook and just hucking it out there. Now we wait. <laughs> yes! Oh, he let go. Oh. You gotta keep doing this. That was, that was big too.
We ended up catching a couple of prawn and Chad lost something. We weren't sure what it was. It was probably a catfish, but if you're in the Amazon River, it could be one of 2,500 different species. So we ended up, it was getting slow, so we ended up moving spots. Uh, we come up to another sand bank and within about 15, 20 minutes, Chad hooks into a nice red tail catfish. Uh, cute one, not what we're looking for. It's not very big. It's a small, small for a red tail, but hey, we scratched another species off the bucket list. Red tail catfish. Uh. Hopefully a cougar doesn't eat me. I cast out, I'm sitting there on the sand beach and I just feel a thump and all of a sudden my line just keeps going out and it won't stop. Um, so I'm giving it to him, I'm giving, the, I'm giving the bait to the catfish, letting him run and I wasn't sure if I should let the catfish swallow my bait before I set the hook or if I should just set the hook right away. So I'm looking at rock, I didn't know what to do, like I've never done this before so he's like telling me like set the hook so I laid into him and it's like it's like yeah, I set hook into the ball in the yeah, river the with just pure weight and <laughs> he just started running. I mean, I have my drag absolutely cranked. I have my thumb on my spool like this and he's peeling so much line out that my thumb is burning. Oh, no, and within 10 seconds, Hurry. he completely Hurry. spools me. My line. Oh, you got your line left. Hurry up. Hurry. <laughs> no. I'm running over the line. Hurry! <laughs> Gone. Gone. Hurry up. Go, 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 go. Let's hand bomb him. <laughs> Here, give me a rack this line. Yeah. Oh. So what happened? Oh my god. Ow. Ow. We got line everywhere. Gone? What am I doing? Sigur. Sigur. Are you gone? Are you? Man. We need to catch one. So bad. It's making me mad. Man, that was a hectic 10 minutes from the very start, from when I set the hook to when he started running and I tried stopping with my thumb and he just wouldn't stop. I had my drag completely cranked and he just kept going. Um, and then he ended up spooling me. I know I wasn't using the proper catfish gear, but still, it was a giant. It's a moment I'll never forget. We keep fishing, Chad casts right back out and within five minutes, not even, I'm retying from the fish that just spooled me and Chad hooks into another giant. <laughs> got one? Yeah. Oh! This is crazy! Okay. Ah. Man! Jeez. Chad ends up losing it. Uh, it just came unpinned. Uh, it happens. Sucks. We had two huge opportunities to get a giant catfish in the boat. Still haunts me till this day, but we have five more days in the Amazon. And the fishing gets a lot better and we start to catch some crazy looking fish. 
Stay tuned.